In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to design the overlapped text effect in PowerPoint. I personally love this effect. Let's start by changing the slide's background color. Right-click on it and select Format Background. In this window, choose any color you like. Click on this icon to add a new text box to this slide. I want to type, Welcome, but you have to only type in the first letter. Change its font style to League Spartan Black. I will put the download link in the description. Type 150 for the font size and align it to the center. Choose the white color for it, then hold the control key down and duplicate it and type in the next letter. Repeat this for other letters. Now we have to modify the order of the letters. Click on the arrange icon and select the selection pane. In this window, we have to rename each text box, then modify its order. For example, this layer belongs to the W letter, so change its name to W and drag its layer to the top. It means this layer is on top of the other layers. Again, this layer represents the E letter. Did I get to the top? Exactly. Under the W letter. Do you see that it is under the W but on top of the other letters? Repeat this for other layers. Since we have two E letters, I rename this one to E2. Now the order of all the layers is correct. Press Ctrl A to select all of them. Then go to the shape format and click on this little arrow to open the format shape window. This arrow activates the Shape Options tab, and this one activates the Text Options tab. Make sure the Text Options is selected and add a drop shadow in this direction to them. Set the Blur and Distance amounts to 15 and change the Transparency to 45. Let's adjust each letter and give them a little overlap with the previous letter. When you're satisfied, select all of them and align them to the middle. Then press Ctrl G to group them. All right, we learned how to design this text effect. The most important section of this video. If you like this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel and ring the notifications for additional upcoming videos. Duplicate the slide and select all the elements. Move them all to the right. Then deselect the W and move the remaining elements to the right leaving a specific gap as you desire. Repeat this step for each element, one by one, ensuring the gap remains consistent. Next, select the second slide, go to the Transitions tab, and apply the Morph Transition. Now, watch the magic unfold. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out my channel for more informative content. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video.